Now we apply the pretreatment gel, the clear vial. You simply snip off the top of the vial. There you go. Just snip off the top of the vial and then start to squeeze the contents of the vial onto the tips of your fingers. And then apply the product generously to the half of your face and neck that you're going to do the treatment on. So just generously to that half of your face and neck. Now remember, you don't have to rub it in. You're just applying it generously, kind of like you're icing a cake. Okay. Great. Perfect. Now in this step, the gel has a negative charge to it. And we set the instrument to a negative charge. So when the spa comes in contact with the gel, the like charges repel each other and effectively deliver the ingredients to your skin. This pretreatment gel contains marigold extract, vanilla extract, and sea kelp to soothe and condition your skin. But it also contains cleansing ingredients. And those cleansing ingredients bind with impurities in your skin, leaving them with a negative charge. Then in the second step, we remove those impurities by setting the spa to a positive charge. Okay. So it's very simple. Now usually one vial of gel is used for the entire face. However, for optimal visual results and a facial demonstration, we recommend that you use the whole vial for half the face. Okay. As you can see, the specially designed face conductor has a large, carefully contoured surface area to keep more product in contact with your skin. So together with the spa, this is a powerful combination designed to deliver up to five times more age lock ingredients to the skin. Okay, so now we'll program our instruments. Okay. You want to program for the pre-treatment step, and it's so easy. You simply press the selection button once to get the treatment number one on the display panel. I think I can handle that. Simple. <laughs> okay. All right, the treatment one is automatically set to two minutes, indicated by the two that appears next to the clock icon. The treatment numbers are also listed on the back of the product package for your convenience. Okay, next, we'll moisten your hand that will be holding the spa. Okay, so just spray an NAPCA moisture mist, or you can use water. Just spray that moisture mist and, and moisten that hand. Okay. I'll take that. So that you can really maximize the conductivity. I actually like to leave the gels on my hand after oh, the okay. application. Mm -hmm. And use that same hand to hold the spa. You get really good conductivity. Okay. Okay, so now make sure your fingers are in full contact with that chrome panel. Perfect. Okay. All right. And you want to make sure that, that when you're doing the treatment that this conductor stays in contact with your skin at all times. Okay. okay? All right. Now touch the conductor to your face. You'll hear one, two, mm -hmm. there, we there we go, are. or three beeps. Mm -hmm. That signals that the current level is automatically self-adjusting to the needs of your skin, which is a patented feature. So I'm hearing all the beeps. Mm -hmm. The current level is now active, and the spa will actually beep every 10 seconds to indicate that it's still working. And once you have 30 seconds remaining, the sound will play every five seconds until your treatment is complete. There are some specific techniques that you can use to get the most out of your age lock galvanic spa treatment. So we're going to focus on the areas that are of most concern to you and go through those treatment steps. So first the eye area. We recommend following that bone structure around the eye, not too close to the eyelids. So start at the side of your nose, then move up around the eye, pause lightly just right under the eyebrow and repeat that same movement several times, just slowly. You want to move in an upward, outward motion, being careful not to tug or pull at the skin, then gently glide back down with lighter pressure. Okay. All right, and remember when you're working around the eye area, avoid getting too close to the eye itself. Remember, you just need to get as close as the bone structure itself. Okay, next we're going to target the smile lines, those happy lines we talked about earlier. So start with the spot above the center of your upper lip, just under the nose. Avoid direct contact with that sensitive skin on your lips. And now move the spa up to the smile line, pause, and then move straight upward and outward toward the temple and pause. Then gently glide the spa back to repeat this movement several times. Pause at the smile line, perfect, and then up to the temple. Beautiful. 
and just slowly follow the same patterns. Okay. Now we'll move to the jowl lines, or often referred to as the marionette lines. We'll start in the middle of the chin without breaking contact and move just up to the jowl line and then pause and then continue upward and outward toward the ear. Okay. Pause again. Then slowly follow the same pattern back down to your starting point and then repeat that same movement several times. Okay. Next we're going to move on to the furrowed brow area. So again, without breaking contact with the skin, we want to move the galvanic spot up to your thinker lines between your eyebrows and pause, then continue up to the hairline, pause, and repeat that movement several times. All right, you get the idea. You move over to the side a little bit and pause, and then move the spot up to the hairline again and pause. So you can continue those movements and slowly move across your forehead until you've covered your entire forehead. Or in this case, we're doing half the forehead. Okay. All right. Next, we're going to target the area under the eye. Call it the under eye area. So take the instrument and move down the side of your nose. Hold for a couple of moments and then move outward to the middle of the cheekbone and then back. And repeat that movement several times, just keeping it under the eye. Not too low, just keeping it right under the eye. And that takes care of the appearance of the puffiness and the dark circles under the eye area. Just remember not to bring the instrument too close to the eye. Okay. All right. And finally, it's important to treat the neck because everything we do to the face, we must do to the neck as well. So start at the base of the neck and move the spa up until you reach the jawline. Hold for a few seconds, then glide the spa back down to that same spot and then move up and out, holding under the jawline again, returning the spa back to that same spot each time, and then move up and out until you've fanned across that entire area. All right, I know we've got some more frequent beeps here, so that means we're almost finished. Oh, and there, there we go. We that signals the end of the treatment. So Cammy, tell me, how, how did it feel on your skin? It feels really nice and very, it's easy. Mm -hmm. Very comfortable too. Good, good. Well, it should feel like a wonderful pampering spa treatment. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so at this point, we're finished the treatment. The clock and the number of minutes disappear from the display, but the treatment number remains on the screen. Now, using a damp cloth, remove any remaining gel from your face and then from the spa and the conductor. But you don't need to cleanse again before the next step. Okay, now let's move on to step two, which is the treatment step, the age lock treatment step. And that's this beautiful blue vial. So go ahead and just snip off the top of the vial just like you did in the pre-treatment step. And go ahead and smooth the gel onto your fingertips and then generously apply it to your skin on the same half of your face. That's perfect. Apply generously just like you did before. Now during this step, the gel has a positive charge to it and we'll set the spa to a positive charge so those like charges repel each other delivering ingredients to the skin. And remember the negatively charged impurities from the first step? Mm -hmm. Well, they will be attracted to the positive charge in the spa and drawn away from the skin.